Lesson number two. <laughs> Rise after you fall. 1996, city of Chicago. Orlando Magic versus the Chicago Bulls. <clears throat> Bulls fans, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> We get swept by the Chicago Bulls. And after the game, I'm, I'm upset. I know I'm going to get all the blame. I got my head down. I'm walking out. And I feel a hand on my shoulder. And it was like a, a godly voice. And this voice says, Shaquille, before you succeed, you must first learn to fail. And I had my head down. I was like, God? And I looked up, and it was Michael Jordan. <laughs> And I was like, you know, I showed him respect. Thanks, Mike, I appreciate it. But when I got in the locker room, I was like, what the hell is Mike talking about? <laughs> so when I was riding on the bus, I was like, before you succeed, you must first learn to fail. And it made a lot of sense. But also, if you, if you fail, you should always rise up and move on, continue. It may come to a shock to some of you that I don't smoke, crack, <laughs> I don't do drugs, I don't drink alcohol, and I don't drink coffee. Speaking of coffee, it brings me to a story about one of my first business failures. 1993, I'm 20 years old. We're in Seattle. I get a call from my business manager. Ding, ding, ding. Shalom. Shalom, brother, how are you? <laughs> Barak Hashem, Lashana Tova, yes. Uh, we have a meeting with uh, uh, Howard Schultz. That's right, the Howard Schultz, Starbucks. I said, Howard Schultz, okay, I'll be downstairs in 10 minutes. So he picks me up and, you know, we're talking and he's like, I got a deal set up for you. All you got to do is be nice and just do what you do, be Shaq. So we get to Howard Schultz mansion, beautiful mansion, lovely wife. Just, 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 just fabulous. So, you know, we're sitting down and, you know, the deal is just, is just primed. You know, Howard Schultz has this vision of, of integrating Starbucks in African-American communities. You like that idea? Fabulous idea? So, you know, they're talking business and I'm upstairs playing with the kids and, you know, I'm we're playing Twister and playing tag and <laughs> moving out the way, doing all that. And Howard and my business manager, they come up, they want to they want to make sure I'm not over, overwhelmed. And then I come downstairs and it's, it's all laid out. Cafe latte, frate fate, mate fate. <laughs> it's just all laid out. And Howard Schultz looks at me and says, Shaq, I want to co-brand the Shaq brand and Starbucks brand and bring it into African-American communities. And I looked this man in his eye, true story, I looked this man in his eye and said, sir, I don't drink coffee. Mother and father don't drink coffee. As a matter of fact, I've never seen a black person drink coffee in their life. <laughs> that idea is not going to work. <laughs> and my business manager, we're sitting down, he's kicking me like. <laughs> and then, you, you know, because I was always, I was always the type that if I didn't believe in the brand, I would never, would never promote it. You know, I wanted to have, have strong core values. <clears throat> so we're in the car. My business manager is pissed. You idiot! You know what you just did. And I was like, no, I don't know what I just did. And, uh, but it was a very, very bad decision. And, you know, learning from <laughs> awful decision, one of the worst decisions <laughs> in my life. No, but seriously, I've never seen a black person drink coffee. You know, we like tea and hot chocolate. You know what we like to drink. <laughs> it was a very bad decision, but, you know, I've made up for it. Uh, I've you know, been rewarded with other franchises and doing a lot of other things, but that Starbucks deal is the one that got away. Especially when I'm riding in LA and I see Magic Johnson's name on a Starbucks. I'm like, that deal got away.